Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a little bit of regression uh, for financial data, uh, specifically noisy data. So let's get started. So first off, let's go on and um, get in some of our basic imports that we need. So import numpy as np, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and then we'll do uh, matplot lib in line, run that, and um, we're going to go on and create up, and I'm actually just going to grab it from here. We have um, some functional data that we created here. I'm going to go up and grab this again here and grab this, and this is a create plot that we've created, and I'm going to actually just put them all in one because later on if I need to reuse this, I can just grab one cell. Um, and so what this will do, this is just kind of a simplification function for us um, so that we can, um, so that we can just kind of create up a plot. Uh, um, and so we'll be using this um, a little bit later on um, to kind of uh, view some of our uh, data as we've been going along. Now, let's kind of talk a little bit about noisy data itself. So regression can cope with, well, noisy data. Okay, uh, the previous couple examples that we've had had non-noisy data. We basically were doing exactly uh, predicting out this uh, signed function, for example. Uh, but it's great for us to be able to simulate non-perfect data. Okay, when we're doing this, because again, most financial data is definitely not perfect uh, whatsoever. And so um, that's what we're actually going to be kind of uh, showing today. So first off, let's go on and create up some uh, noisy data. Let me give a couple pushes in here. Um, and so let's do xn in for noisy and p dot our uh, linear space. And we want negative 2 multiplied by np dot pi, uh, 2 multiplied by np dot pi, pop pi, uh, and then we want 50 observations. So here we're actually um, just creating up some, this is just some uh, uh, x values, okay? Uh, let's go on and also maybe create up. Um, Let's add in some random noise. Okay, so we'll just do xn uh, is equal to xn uh, plus uh, 0.15 uh, multiplied by mp dot random dot standard normal uh, of the length of x of n. Um, and then let's also do y of n is going to be f x of n. Um, and um, f of x is just this signed function here, okay? Uh, a linear signed function, so it's going to be increasing by 0.5. Um, then let's see here, uh, plus 0 0.25 uh, multiplied by mp dot random dot uh, standard normal uh, length of um, x of n. So here again we're wanting to add some noise uh, specifically random noise okay and here is uh, y values with random noise okay I'll run that and then let's go on and um, uh, plot this out um, well, actually, actually, maybe let's run the re uh, regression first. So first we'll do our regression. And again, this is going to be a polynomial fit dot poly. Uh, and from what we were, uh, were kind of looking at before, polynomial of 7 actually does quite well. Uh, and so xn of yn of uh, 7. And then uh, our ry here is going to be np dot our uh, poly val to get our values and that's with the regression of x of n so these are going to be our predicteds okay run that and let's go on and use our create plot in here for x of x um, 
f of x, oh, r, y. And then we want in here it to be blue. We want it to be red dashed. Uh, we want f of x. We also want in here, we'll just call it uh, reg. And again, it's d7, seventh degree polynomial. Uh, and then we'll also do in here x with uh, f of x being our titles. And so let's take a look here. So now you can see here that we have this random noise in here as well as the, the actual data with our actual, um, the actual data is the blue. Then with our regression, again, you can see here that it is a little bit noisy. Um, and again, that's what we're kind of expecting a more realistic regression to actually kind of look like. Um, so that, that, that does look kind of nice in there. Um, so I'm going to leave this particular one here. It's a nice short video. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.